Alright, Jason Lillman, I'm going to be walking you through a very fun proof of concept today. Uh, specifically, it is stored cross-site scripting, but through a very interesting medium. Um, so this is our target here, obviously obscured for privacy reasons, but uh, essentially we are able to uh, upload media to our store. This is like a similar platform, I guess you could say to Shopify of sorts, um, relatively large, and we're able to upload media of all different sorts. So we can upload, you know, an image, um, let's say that we just upload a random uh, GIF image. We can upload that. So we can see that it'll accept any uh, file type essentially here. That is an image. We can go ahead and just delete that. Um, but the most important functionality, actually, I'm going to add that back again. I'll add it just for demo purposes. The most important functionality that allows this vulnerability to work, and I'll get into the proof of concept and how you can do this in a second. I made a whole GitHub uh, so you guys can test for this as well. But the most important thing is that they have a content delivery network uh, of sorts where you can essentially open the URL of whatever this media is and display it on their, on their domain, right? It's stored. Um, and obviously you can also just click, you know, open in new, like open image in new tab and you're going to get a similar thing, but we're going to be exploiting this functionality to essentially upload specially crafted SVG images using this GitHub repo, uh, that I've created. The link to this is in the description. And we are going to use these proof of concepts I've made to get uh, cross-site scripting via the uploaded images. So firstly, let's open our terminal. You can do this on Kali Linux or you know any Linux distro or Windows, it doesn't matter. And you're just gonna git clone the repo and you're going to change directory into that repo, which is access via SVG. Clear our screen, apps, whoops. And now you can see we have um, the popup.svg and this, which is just gonna be stored.svg. Uh, I just haven't <laughs> renamed it yet. Um, but it's gonna essentially make a callback to an out of band listener. And the other one is gonna make a pop-up. You can do whatever you want though. And I'll show you why. Uh, if we just do explorer, oh, I'm not used to windows, but I think, yeah, that's the command. Um, so let's have a look at the contents of popup.svg and this will give you a good idea of kind of how this um, vulnerability works. We'll open it up in Notepad. You can see it's actually a, um, an HTML document within SVG tags and we can see up here this is the part responsible for the actual visual um, SVG. So, well, you know, this entire bit really. Um, you can change the text of the actual image, it doesn't matter. But then the important part is this bit here, the XSS payload. Um, and essentially what it's going to do is create an alert pop-up within these script tags within the SVG file. So it's kind of an SVG polyglot payload. And when we upload this and view the image, it is going to essentially go ahead and execute this um, arbitrary JavaScript and obviously it's going to bypass any web application firewall, uh, which is pretty cool in this case. Uh, other vectors where you can find this vulnerability will be, you know, um, user profiles, so really any Im image upload functionality where you're able to view the URL. But let's just uh, go ahead and give this a shot and get into the proof of concept. Uh, what I'm going to, oh my goodness, what is happening here? It's just freezing. Hold on, I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm just going to reopen that CD access via G. Cool. And now let's just test this with the pop-up payloads and we'll just go ahead and upload this. And now, 
close this window and just go ahead and exit out of our terminal. And we can see that the media is uploaded and we have a URL to view it. We can see this is the contents of the image here. And if we were to go back uh, and go ahead and just open image in new tab, it will literally just open as an image, right? Because this is the preview image, all right? This is the important um, kind of difference because we have this URL here now, which we can go ahead and open, which will open the full image and boom. All right, we can open that URL and we can see, if we open it again, that we have stored XSS uh, proof of concept by zero days. And we're able to essentially execute this arbitrary JavaScript, uh, obviously an attacker. This is also kind of like the same attack vectors as reflected XSS as well, because it's not just, you know, like uh, something that's stored in the system, uh, because we have this URL here that we can call it from, it's actually also shareable to, you know, victims and we can take advantage of this established domain. Um, so that's kind of the threat of this. And now what, uh, what we can do as well is we can go ahead and uh, demonstrate some, uh, some stored, uh, sorry, like a stored XSS that essentially creates a callback. Um, so we're gonna go here. I'm just gonna rename this while I remember uh, to just callback.svg, ignore my dog in the background. She is a small fluffy maniac. Right, so we have callback.svg. We can download the raw file. All right, and we just have this unassuming um, SVG file here. And what we're gonna need to do, I'll show this using my tool here. Uh, you can get this, obviously, just go to this link. Uh, it's for blind XSS. Um, specifically, it gives you all these payloads for out-of-band stuff. I think it's pretty cool. I spent a long time making it and I pay for all the hosting and everything. It's 100% free for you guys. But um, let's just have a look at this payload here. Um, and we can see essentially it is fetching a specific URL and appending some details like, you know, cookies, user agent, etc. Uh, we can go ahead and just paste in our URL, save it, clear these and then add some new media, add files, and we just want callback.svg. Go ahead and upload that, uploads, and go ahead and just open that in a new tab. You can see we don't get a pop-up, um, and that's normal. We can refresh it a couple times, no pop-up, and that's fine. Um, and you notice in a minute, I'll show you an alternate way as well, uh, using webhook.site, but you'll notice in a second, uh, I would recommend this for blind XSS, webhook.site is fine for this use case, but you know, um, ah, I've already got something open, that's fine. Um, you can ignore that. I'll just find another one quickly, I'm sure there's a billion similar tools. Uh, you know what, let's just use request bin, why not? So basically what we're aiming to do here, this is just being a bit slow, um, is, oh, it's gonna make me sign up. <laughs> I'll just show you with this. So basically what we're aiming to do here is get uh, a callback coming in from that that might, you know, maybe an attacker could use this to exfiltrate data or uh, things to that effect. And, you know, obviously that has some pretty big implications like account takeover, cookie theft. Um, and there we are. So we now have our callbacks. Uh, we can go ahead and see that I am visiting it from uh, Windows, Chrome, and we can see the domain that we visited from, um, ignore that, the IP address, 
uh, the user agent, the referrer, the cookie, the domain. Um, and so we have like a good idea of, you know, where this is coming from, the location, and just the overall, um, like it lets us fingerprint internal stuff as well. Like let's say um, maybe there's blind XSS in logs somewhere and, you know, someone internal views those logs, we can get the actual path of the logs or, you know, things to that effect. Um, but that kind of concludes this proof of concept. I hope you guys were able to get some value out of this. Uh, again, my GitHub repo, uh, you can just check it out. This is my GitHub and it will be right here. I'm going to pin it as well. Uh, it's got all the instructions on usage. It's got all of the proof of concepts. You can just download them, use it, upload it as you know, profile photos, maybe put it in image galleries, or if there's any file upload, um, you could obviously use it in you know email attachments if maybe there's like a form uh, to submit feedback or a bug that allows you to attach an image. Uh, maybe you have blind access there, so you can combine this tool here, get a payload um, and use that to get you know blind callbacks from internal systems like maybe support ticketing. Um, just be wary, use a low exfiltration one for bug bounty, like a stealth beacon that just kind of gets harmless data. Um, and obviously in CMS systems, CMS systems is a content management system. Anyways, um, I am going slightly insane today, as you could probably tell, my brain is a bit scattered. Uh, but this is a high severity bounty uh, in this site because obviously a uh, very high impact due to the fact that we can share this and it impacts internal systems. There's lots of social engineering vectors um, and we have essentially arbitrary JavaScript code execution uh, because there's no filtering when it's via this vector. It bypasses the web application firewall completely on this site. Uh, so I hope you guys, yeah, I hope you got some value. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or message me on Discord. I always reply to every single one. And I have like an hour long hunt coming out pretty soon, which I'm super excited for. I spent like $200 editing. Um, yeah, any questions, hit me up. Have an amazing rest of your day and peace.